so removing the background just got hell of a lot easier and even better. And to make this even more complicated, I'm gonna put on my headphones. So we, we all know the Roto Brush tool in After Effects. Well, it just got upgraded to Roto Brush 3.0. What that means is all you need to do now is put your entire video clip into After Effects. Go into the Roto Brush Paint tool, click around your subject, hold Alt or Option to either add or subtract your tracing. Freeze your subject, and all you need to do, usually you have to go frame by frame, but now the first frame, you freeze it all the way until the end, and now you have your entire subject rotoscoped. You don't understand how amazing this actually is right now. Yes, maybe some glitches, but for a one-click, one-trick pony, this is not bad, not too shabby whatsoever. Something that used to be so complicated and would take forever, you can also touch it up with the Refines Edges tool. Something like this is now super simple to remove any background of a click of a button. That simple. Took After Effects a little longer, 3.0, but now making sure all you need to do is that option is checked into the effects panel and you follow the exact same video that I made in the previous version, but now the quality of this is that much better. You're welcome. If you want to get serious about Premiere Pro, editing, and all that good stuff about content creation and the future of, have access and resources to all my courses about editing, content creation, and social media, especially if you wanna learn Premiere Pro in under 30 minutes. It also includes my own keyboard shortcuts, how I edit the fastest possible. Link description, help me help you. And you're watching Broke Vigilant Collective, where we all serve nothing, but you can always create something. Cheers, guys. Gang, gang.